put this movie on your watchlist for next year. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and if you want to see a totally crazy, bonkers, super creative, fascinating and just extremely fun and absolutely unique little movie that might blow your mind, you have to remember the wonderful title Hundreds of Beavers. Right now it has only been shown on film festivals. If you live here in Vienna, you have the chance to watch it at the Slash Rim Festival. And according to the official homepage, hundredsofbeavers.com, it will be unleashed on the public in early 2024. It marks the feature-length directorial debut of Mike Cheslick, who also co-wrote the film alongside its lead actor, Ryland Brixen Cole Tews. And that guy, apart from some very few scenes, is front and center throughout this wonderfully mad action-adventure comedy. Hundreds of Beavers is basically a black and white, silent, live-action Looney Tunes movie. There's of course music and also sound effects, but the movie works almost without any dialogues. It's a wonderfully visual, cinematic treat. The short synopsis on IMDb is actually pretty accurate. In this 19th century supernatural winter epic, a drunken Applejack salesman must go from zero to hero and become North America's greatest fur trapper by defeating hundreds of beavers. It begins with a little song and our buffed Applejack salesman still being in business. Until everything goes horribly wrong and he finds himself alone in the snow without really anything to work with. But from there on, he slowly but surely makes his way in this kind of survival sketch comedy. First of all, he needs food. Thankfully, he doesn't have to look far to spot some delicious rabbits. Obviously though, it's not as easy to catch them as he thinks at first. And he has to come up with some pretty inventive ideas. And those ideas are very much in the vein of those old Looney Tunes cartoons. As are the rules and the physics of the world the movie presents us with. And it should also be noted that those rabbits aren't just regular, realistic looking rabbits, but they are brought to life for us by people wearing human-sized rabbit costumes. Honestly, when I first watched the trailer prior to watching the movie, and when I saw those costumes and what the humor of the movie is all about, I was a bit worried that it might not really be for me, that it might be too silly or too one note, that it might be more annoying and exhausting than clever and funny. But it only took a few short moments for the movie to completely win me over. Because it's just that creative and the pacing is so good and the joke density is so high. And also because it builds a very peculiar and unique atmosphere and it follows a very interesting or rather fascinating structure. The Slash Film Festival provided me with a press screener so I could review it in time for the festival. First of all, I have to say that I can guarantee that this movie will play absolutely bonkers amazing with a big crowd of people. And second, I had to pause the movie after 45 minutes or so to get a drink. And at that point I was pretty confident that it probably must run for another half hour or so. Because such a special premise as this one usually makes for a movie that's not that long. But then I realized that it still had an hour to go. And while I was a little bit worried that it might overstay its welcome a little bit, and honestly maybe it does ever so slightly, I was also really excited because after those initial 45 minutes, which by the way still hadn't even presented us with a title screen, and it's a movie that has a title screen. But after those 45 minutes I really felt that it had the potential to go even bigger and crazier when there's so much time left. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happens. Hundreds of beavers becomes absolute madness as it progresses and now I'm coming back to that very fascinating structure it follows. The way this movie is built. The movie really does depict our protagonist's journey from zero to hero. Though I would put that hero in quotation marks. But I can't really recall any other movie that's so much about progression as this one is. Hundreds of Beavers is part Looney Tunes and it's really great at that. The production design, the editing, the timing, everything is really clicking here. It also features a score that sounds very much like classic orchestral music, which adds a nice atmosphere to the absurd and is also used time and time again for a comedic effect when it abruptly stops for some silly gag. 
At the same time, Hundreds of Beavers is also like the ultimate video game movie. Like in a video game, it spends a lot of effort to establish the rules of this world, how all the different elements fit together. And in this case, those elements are mostly about the different woodland critters and how to hunt them, which bait to use, what trap to set up. And don't worry, that might sound boring when I describe it, but in the movie it's all super playful and visualized in a truly visionary way. There are also video game elements like a merchant where our protagonist or player can trade in the animals he has hunted for better tools, which then alters the way he continues to hunt. The merchant also has a beautiful daughter, so we not only have the goal of survival and getting better at what the protagonist is doing, but there's also that romantic or lustful goal of getting the girl. On the adventure, there are also some few side characters that guide him along the way, and the whole visualization is also very much like in a video game. We have a map that gets constantly updated, the stuff to buy at a merchant gets selected like someone is using a control pad, and as the movie progresses, this entire gameplay loop, if you will, of getting out to hunt, going through the different points of interest, and showing back up at the merchant and the girl gets more and more apparent. At the end of the movie, you are so much into it and you really feel like you went through an adventure with the protagonist. While always remaining a super funny, laugh out loud, slapsticky, cartoony comedy of course. And I found that very fascinating and unique and just masterfully done. And while all that happens, the titular hundreds of beavers are doing their crazy thing in the background, until that background becomes the foreground and we end up in this truly bonkers finale that's just so much fun. And last but not least, I hinted at it already, but the visual style of the movie is also so special. Watching the trailer, I was afraid it might come across a bit too cheap and simple, but there's so much charm and ingenuity to it. And there are also some truly remarkable and surprisingly expressive camera shots, like a scene at night in which our protagonist and his companion are attacked by wolves and climb up a tree. What should I say? Hundreds of Beavers is one of the best and most special films I have seen in recent years. So in German I'd say... Hundreds of Beavers ist eine umwerfend kreative, wahnwitzige und einfach witzige Mischung aus Stummfilmkomödie, Looney Tunes Hommage und faszinierender Videospielästhetik. Auf gar keinen Fall verpassen. I give Hundreds of Beavers 8 out of 10. It's more like 8.4, but I don't do that. <lacht> Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about hundreds of beavers if you got the chance to watch it. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell. Mm -hmm.